Units of weight and mass. In this video, we'll talk about both US customary and metric units of um, measuring weight or mass, and then how they're, tell how they're related. So the units of weight, which remember is US customary, are ounces, pounds, and also tons. Um, for each, for the two that we're going to use in class, we're going to talk about benchmarks, which are measurements that you can keep in your mind in order to estimate. So I want us to know that an ounce, which by the way is abbreviated OZ, is about the same weight as a piece of um, loaf bread, regular piece of bread. Um, so if you are thinking if something more or less than an ounce, you could compare it to how much you know a, a piece of bread weighs. A pound, it, which is the abbreviation is LB, is exactly the weight of one box of butter that you might get like this. It even says one pound on it. And one pound has four sticks of butter in it. So this is um, one pound. And if you're thinking about how many pounds did something weigh, you could um, compare it to four sticks of butter. Um, when you are measuring, you will use ounces to measure light things, things that are small. Lots of times in a food, um, food items come measured in ounces. And then on the other hand, you will measure heavy things with pounds. For example, people are measured in pounds. Remember that we do have one really huge unit, which is a ton as well, and that is a uh, US customary measurement unit of weight. For um, mass, measuring mass, which is, remember is the metric system, we have grams and kilograms. So let's talk about the benchmarks or the items that you can use to estimate. A gram, which is abbreviated just with a G, is about the mass of one paperclip, one small regular paperclip. A kilogram, which is a big um, measurement of mass, is about the size of two boxes of butter. So I have here two boxes of butter. If you put these two together, this would be about a kilogram. It's not exact, but this is about the size of a kilogram. So that would be eight sticks of butter. Remember that small things like bags of chips or other food items would be measured in grams, especially if we didn't live in the United States. If we lived elsewhere, they would measure their food in grams. And big items like people would be measured in kilograms. So next we need to know how the units are related. This is a chart that looks very complicated, but if you uh, sort of break it apart into pieces, you can see that it's not really that bad. So at the top, I have put the small units, ounces and grams are the small units of mass or weight, and pounds, kilograms, and tons are the big units. So go up to find the small things, go down to find the big things. Then on the left, I've put the US customary units in uh, purple here, ounce, pounds, and tons. And on the right, we see the um, metric units of grams and kilograms. So if you were trying to remember what's the small metric unit, you would find, go to the metric side and go up to be small, and that would point you to grams. So then in green, we can see how they are related. So good, let's go through and think about each one. Um, first, let's do how ounces and pounds are related. Remember that ounces is about a piece of bread and um, pound is about the size of four sticks of butter. In our class, you will use the um, weight sets and you will see that the big one here is a pound and this blue one is an ounce. It takes 16 ounces, 16 of these, to make a pound or about 16 pieces of loaf bread to make a one box of butter. So that's why I have one pound equals 16 ounces. Next, over here, how grams and kilograms are related. It takes one, one kilogram equals a thousand grams. So if we were talking about, um, here's the size of a kilogram, it's a, really, it's a big one, and if we were um, thinking how many paper clips equal this, it would be a thousand. In other words, you could also say that it would take about a thousand paper clips to equal the weight of what we said was the benchmark for a kilogram. Uh, two boxes of butter. Now let's um, go from pounds to tons. It would take 2,000 pounds to equal a ton. So 2,000 boxes of butter to equal a ton or 2,000 of these guys to make a ton. 
So that's how the um, U.S. customary are related to each other and the metrics are related to each other. Now let's go between systems. So let's start up here and think about how ounces and grams are related. You could think about how paper clips and a piece of bread are related, or in our class, here's the ounce and here's the gram. You can see that the ounce is bigger than the gram. We also know that a piece of bread is bigger than a paper clip. But the question is, how many of these guys, how many grams would it take to make an ounce? It takes 28 of these to make an ounce. So 28 grams equals one ounce. I like to picture four rows of seven to remember that number. Um, four, I, I picture four rows of seven paper clips and think about that many paper clips equaling a piece of bread. And then down here, how pounds and kilograms are related. Well, we kind of already knew that from our benchmark. We knew that this was one pound, two of these is one kilogram. So a pound is about half of the size of a kilogram, or a kilogram is twice as big as a pound. And you can write that by saying one kilogram is about two pounds. It's actually two and two tenths pounds, but it's about a pound. I mean, ab about two pounds, two, point, two and two tenths pounds is about a kilogram. So let's use those uh, equivalent measures in order to fill in these four blanks. Here are some example problems. We want to know how many kilograms equals 47 grams. I first want to write down what I know. One kilogram equals 1,000 grams. So if I don't even have 1,000 grams, I have less than a kilogram here. It's going to be some decibel. And because these are related from by 1 and 1,000, I know to get back and forth from one to the other, I'm going to either need to multiply by 1,000 or divide by 1,000. Well, if I multiplied this by 1,000, I would get 47,000. 47 paper clips does not equal 47,000 kilograms. So that tells me I need to divide by 1,000. So remember that you can divide by 1,000 by moving the decimal over to the left. So I'm starting with the decimal here, and I'm going to move it over one, two, three times. That's how you divide by a thousand. One, two, and I'm going to move it over one more time, and it would be here. So um, 47 grams is zero and 47 thousandths of a kilogram. Going the opposite way from kilograms to grams, remembering this exact same thing, I know that I want to make this number bigger because there are a lot of grams in 41 kilograms. I'm thinking about um, every single kilogram has a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, all the way up to um, 41. So I would have to multiply by a thousand to figure out how many grams are here. So I can remember the zeros trick and do 41 times one is 41, and then add one, two, three zeros. So 41 kilograms would be 41,000 grams. Down here, I'm going to go from pounds to ounces. Remember that one pound equals 16 ounces. So I'm going to think about how each pound in that 14 pounds is going to have 16 ounces. 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16, uh, 14 times. Well, the faster way to do that is a multiplication problem whenever you're doing repeated addition. So I'm going to do 16 times 14. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. Drop my 0. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. And add. And I get 224 ounces in 14 pounds. And then finally, how many pounds is in 3 tons? Well, remember that 2,000 pounds equals one ton. So in the first pound, I mean, first ton, it's 2,000, then 4,000, then 6,000, if I'm counting by 2,000s. So three tons is going to be 6,000 pounds. And two more example problems. Which unit would you use to find the weight of your backpack? So the very first thing that you need to know is that this is asking 
not only do you know big or small, but do you know which ones are measured in or are used to measure weight? Remember that weight is U.S. customary, so this could be pounds or ounces. Your backpack is heavy. It's bigger than a piece of bread. It's a lot of pieces of bread. And if you th think about would your backpack be heavier than a box of butter, a pound? Well, likely. So if that's the case, you can use pounds to measure it. Ounces would be too small. You'd have, it would, the number of ounces that you would use to measure would be huge. Next, which unit would you use to find the mass of an acorn? When you see mass, you think of M, metric, grams, or kilograms. And then remember that an acorn is a small thing, and thinking about it in kilograms wouldn't make any sense. So grams would be the correct unit to measure the mass of an acorn.